Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 78, which was released on June 30th and is the seventh major browser update in 2020. There were a few notable changes in this new browser update, which I'll cover in this video. First up, Protections Dashboard, previously called Privacy Protections. So if you tap about colon protections in your address bar and hit enter, you will notice some changes. It will now allow you to track how many breaches you resolved from within the dashboard, as well as check if any of your passwords may have been exposed in a data breach. Secondly, a little change in the Firefox uninstaller. In many cases, users would uninstall Firefox when facing issues with the browser, and in most cases, a refresh can solve the problem. So in Firefox 78 onwards, you will see a refresh Firefox button instead of having to uninstall. Thirdly, improvements in WebRTC or real-time communication will provide a better experience when web conferencing and video calling. In earlier versions, the screen saver could interrupt WebRTC calls, so you should not have the issue now. Next up, Mozilla has disabled support for TLS 1.0 and 1.1. TLS or Transport Layer Security is a security protocol for encrypting HTTPS connections. Essentially, sites that don't support TLS version 1.2 and above will now show an error page. You can learn more about it from Tyler's blog post. You'll find the link in the description section. Finally, Web Render, Mozilla's next generation GPU based 2D rendering engine, which is designed to provide a fast and smooth web browsing experience, it continues to roll out to more Firefox of Windows users now available by default for computers with Intel GPUs. So these were some of the notable changes in Firefox 78. You can check the list of detailed changes in the release notes. You'll find the link in the description section. In terms of the BrowserMark benchmark test results, the overall performance of Firefox remains steady compared to the earlier version, but Google Chrome continues to outperform. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.